Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Dubot Studio and give you a very basic introduction on what the Dubot Magician can do. The Dubot Magician is a multifunctional robotic arm, and it can be used to accomplish many things and tasks using different tools and different communication protocols. For example, there are some basic features such as drawing with a pen, there's laser engraving, not cutting, sorry, it doesn't have enough power, there's also 3D printing, there is picking up things with two ways, suction cup and gripper, which both use air pressure to pick up things and move them around, and you can put a Dubot combined with some extra things, such as a vision kit, which gives your Dubot vision, and you can do things such as pick up objects of different colors, and you can move them around and tell the Dubot where to put them. There's also sorting blocks using a conveyor belt with two Dubots, and there's also this thing called a linear rail, which kind of works like a factory. It gives the Dubot not just moving around stationary, it gives the Dubot a linear look, because you can move around on a slide. Anyway, I think those are some of the basic features. There are more complicated ones, such as if, you, if you're that advanced, you can use second development by, for example, you can use your phone, program an iOS app to control, you can control using Arduino, there's much more things, and I will be covering all of that in this series. Anyway, now I'm going to go to Google Chrome, or whatever web browser you use, and you want to go to dubot.cc. Here, I'm going to be showing you how to install Dubot Studio. Go to Support and Download Center. Then, you want to scroll down, and it should be in Dubot Magician for you. The most frequent download is for Windows, the Magician Studio. So if you're a Windows user, you might want to use that. If you're an XP user, you might want to use the XP version, and there's a Mac version, which I'm going to download. Should download, and we'll wait for it to download. It's done downloading right here. I'm going to open it up. It's going to open up a disk image. Or on Windows, it's probably an .exe file. It's a zip file. Here, you have Dubot Studio, which I will drag into Applications first. Once it's done copying, then we'll install the driver, if you haven't. Then open up Attachment, go to Driver, and open up that package and start installing. It's going to ask, once you install, it's going to ask you to restart your computer, so you may want to save your spot right here. Then once you're done installing, you, you can probably open up Dubot Studio. It's going to verify first time. And it's going to ask you if you want to open, and I'm going to open. Click on allow, it's just going to ask you for that. And it's going to tell you to do that. I recommend doing that and then pressing X. And you should get something like this. That's the Dubot Studio. Anyway. That was that video. In the next few videos, we will be covering basic end effectors. We will learn how to use things like drawing and laser engraving, 3D printing, etc. And I'll see you then. Bye.